I am here with Nick and Matt Jackson, guys. It is so great to see you back here in AEW. Um, you guys have requested this time uh, to discuss right. a few can, things. I'm sorry to cut you off, but can you show a little more respect next time and call us by our God-given names of Nicholas and Matthew Jackson? You see, we're executive vice presidents around here, and it's time to take this job a little more serious. Great point. Okay, uh, well then, starting with that, yeah, let's talk about this job and, and taking things more seriously. I mean, we've seen the temper tantrums, the public meltdowns. I mean, the rumors that we've rumors, seen. Rumors, rumors. Hang on, okay. okay. Uh, you want to go there? I, I, I think I know which rumors you're talking about. You don't believe any of that is true now, Renee. The things that they say about us, the things that they write about us, right? Okay. None of those are true, okay? It's all fake. But let's say hypothetically some of that was true, right? Some of the stuff you read was true, right? Uh, let me ask you a question. What would you do to preserve and protect your life's work? Uh, what would you do to preserve and protect your baby? You, you and John got a beautiful daughter, right? What would you do, huh? I know what I would do. Right? So just think about that when you come at us with, with, with rumors again. But again, this is, this is all hypotheticals, okay? Okay. And also, what would you be willing to lose? Would you be willing to lose uh, your relationship with coworkers and, 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 and your friends? And how about your reputation or your legacy out the window? Would, you know, and if, if you knew all that in hindsight, would you still do it if it meant that there would be a healthy, sustainable, thriving wrestling company called AEW? Yeah, yeah, you know what? I know my answer. The answer is, Hell yeah. I would go back and do it all over again. And, and speaking of, of there being a company around, you got your paycheck this week, right? Yeah, you're welcome. Uh, okay, well, switching gears to keep things on track here. Let's talk Sting. Let's talk the moment from last week, seeing you guys make your arrival back into AEW. Can you walk me through those moments? Well, we started AEW. I don't, you weren't there in the beginning, so you don't know. But we used to say change the world that was that was the slogan change the world and we did we were disruptors we were rebels we spat in the face of tradition it was out with the old and in with the new renee and and for a while we were doing that we weren't changing the world and somewhere along the way we we did we did lose our way it was like the, the culture shifted and, and toxicity creeped into the locker rooms and the perception of the company was just it was just different that's all it was it was just different okay and i think i know why i think it's because we started to to lean on yesterday's self-serving superficial cancerous superstars and you mentioned sting this isn't about this isn't about sting sting is none of those things sting is great he, he's, he's a role model employee. He is awesome. The, the conversation for one of the greatest of all times, I actually am envious of the way that people talk about him. Maybe they'll talk about us like that one day, okay? However, it's about what Sting represents. Sting is the last of that dying breed, and the image of Sting, it isn't in line with what we wanted to do here at AEW. We wanted to change the world. So unfortunately for Sting, we're gonna have to say goodbye to Sting and everybody like Sting. And, and we, we would never ask anybody to do something that we weren't willing to do ourselves, Renee. Good point. So is that an official call out to Sting at Revolution for Sting's final match? Well, see that? As uh, EVPs, we'll pull some strings. All right, sweetheart. We got a meeting to get to. Wow, Matthew and Nicholas.